Okay, today I'm going to really try and put this thing through its paces with a super duper chunky art yarn. Uh, to start off with, I'm going to do a regular core spun, but I'm going to add a lot more twist than I would otherwise. I'm going to try and do it moderately even without too many huge bumps, which will be difficult with this back because it's got lots of lumps in it, but uh, we'll see how it goes. See if that's over twisted or not. Uh, that's not too bad. I will uh, speed it up a little bit more so I can get just a slight more twist than that in it. Okay, I'm ready to do my second ply of this art yarn. This is the first, it's a very tightly uh, spun, coarse spun, with uh, lots of excess twist. I'm going to take out some of that excess twist in this ply. Uh, I've got to that the other way up to let it run a bit smoother. There we go. So, okay, so you can see I am. Uh, coil plying the singles I spun earlier uh, onto the same plain core. Uh, I'm doing this is, my core is here, it is wrapped onto a Turkish spindle and uh, as I am letting this wrap with my right hand I am rolling the core through the fingers of my left hand and it's letting all this excess twist out. That means that this yarn here, when it's finished, hangs straight. It behaves as if it's balanced, it doesn't kink up all over the place. So I think that's got its twist out. So when you start off, you want this spindle to be uh, close to the floor. So uh, I'll unwind some put it under an arm and do a half hitch that's held in place. If you haven't got a spindle, don't worry, you can use a rock or a pen or anything that's a weight with somewhere to uh, clip your yarn. But a spindle is really good because it spins nice and evenly. So I've got my spindle there down nearby the floor. I have my uh, overspun core spun singles here. You can see they're very tightly spun and they're all actually kinking back on themselves. That's what you want. You want loads of excess twist in those because uh, it's all going to be taken out as it's wrapped. I have my tension fairly high, speed moderate, spinning S. And one modification I've had to do to this is I put these little tubes over the hook can you see? I had to do that because the hooks are very thin metal and uh, as these wraps are uh, perpendicular to the core the hook would keep getting caught in between each one so this just gives it a smooth surface to slide over a bit of drinking straw might do or even a bit of sellotape uh, these are these thingies for heat shrink moulding when you uh, join cables but no need to buy those at all, Just any old tube that you can fit over the hook will help. So, 
get on with it. So I'm holding my wrapping thread at 90 degrees to my claw thread, just letting it wind on as I spin. You will see there's gaps in between, I don't really want those, so then I push it up. And at the same time, this hand is taking out the excess twist. So uh, let's get going, you'll be able to see. I'm still not getting perfect take up. I'm not sure if it's because it's snagged or just because it's an incredibly thick yarn. Oh, there we go, that's winding on fine now. And I prefer doing this sort of yarn on any spinner to a wheel because I haven't got my feet in the way of this dangling spindle. No treadling. I can uh, keep my legs well out of the way and uh, just let this spindle keep going, uh, taking out all that excess twist. Alright, I am going to have to keep stopping to wind this on. I thought my solution had worked, but maybe not. Uh, it's because I'm getting tiny sn Hello, I'm back and I've figured out a solution to the snagging problem. I've 3D printed these little guides. Um, you're not sure if you can really see, but they're really smooth and uh, curved on the inside. So they help uh, let the yarn slide past smoothly and they just fit into the yarn guide. So uh, hopefully that will solve all my snagging problems. I'm sure I'll still have the odd large lump that won't go through. But, uh, I should be able to get on with this. Okay, so let's see. I need to uh, let some of this core yarn out.
take a um, super coiled coarse band yarn. 